Seahawks trying to close it with the third here. One, two, he does. Strikes out Brooks and leaves the bases loaded. That could have been a whole lot worse for UNCW. In the end, it's a so out ahead after one complete. Calvert and a bunt popped up. Can he catch it? Yes, he does. For that one, it hit the ground. Calvert able to make the defensive play. one nothing Coastal. Jones trying to change at the 0-1 pitch. High chop ball. That'll score a run. Maybe get the runner on base. No, thrown out by Dooley, the shortstop on the high chop. Had to get rid of it quickly, but Jones drives in the run, and we're tied at one here in the bottom of the second. Different. They change from assistant to head coach. A 2-2. Swing and a miss. That is a career-high tying six strikeout of the ball game here for Ryan Calvert. Second base, one out, 2-2 two -two pitch. Sends this one down the right field line. Is it fair? Is it foul? It gets down fair off the wall. RBI number 100 will put the Seahawks ahead, trying to get a triple, and he's out at third. 1-0, line in and out of the glove of Carbone, knocks it down, tries to track it down, the throw off line, Thatch will go to first base, and Kroom will score on the throwing error by Carbone. Ill-advised throw for the pitcher, the Seahawks up now 3-1. In just a moment, the 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed. Oh, Calvert, we haven't seen him in a while, he's well rested and pitching like it here, now with eight strikeouts. And he leaves that runner in scoring position. Are, are going to stay the same, but, um, you know, really excited. This one deep to left field off the bat of Art, deep to left. And if it's fair, it's a home run. And it is a home run for Brian Art, his sixth of the season. And the Seahawks up now 4-1. to one. Took the 90-mile-an-hour fastball from Bowers, turned it around at 100. And sends it over the left field wall. And Brian Art, again, his sixth home run of the season. His last time up. Fly ball to right. In the gap as the right fielder Brown was playing more toward the line. Around third is Schaefer. The throw home. Not in time. And the Seahawks take the lead 5-4 to four on the double off the bat of Aiden Evans. Weicker, the graduate, the transfer from Virginia Tech. Breaking ball, sends it to left center field again. The defense was in. It's over the head of Brooks. Back to the wall. Another run will score. And it's going to be a double. No, he wants a triple. A second one to throw there. And he's safe. Two triples tonight for Jack Kroom. Payoff pitch. On the outside corner, there's that fastball away to strike out Dooley. He strikes out the side as Luke Craig. Dooley looking, and the inning is over. Luke Craig, he comes set. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Strikes him out. Luke Craig retired the final 10 batters that he faced, and he struck out six of them. Tying his career high. 6-4 to four, UNCW gets the win. And they finally break through here midweek against a quality ranked opponent in 20th ranked Coastal Carolina. 6-4 to four, the final score. We'll take a break. When we get back, it's our Walk-Ons postgame report. Stay with us, the Seahawks winners, here on Flow Sports at 95.9 The Breed. Luke Craig, he comes set. 2-2 pitch, strikes him out. Luke Craig retired the final 10 batters that he faced, and he struck out six of them, tying his career high. 6-4, to four, UNCW gets the win, and they finally break through here midweek against a quality ranked opponent in 20th ranked Coastal Carolina. 6-4 to four, the final score. We'll take a break. When we get back, it's our Walk-Ons post-game report. Stay with us, the Seahawks winners, here on Flow Sports at 95.9 The Breeze.